hello and welcome to my video i apologize that i have been gone for two weeks i took a small mental health break because i was having a lot of issues with my anxiety and all that and kept getting dizzy every night so my medicine got put up onto more so this house took me a few days to do because i was experimenting with the roof styles which i actually really like how the roof looks so let's head up here here it's a extravagant kind of family home so here you have a fountain mailbox in front of your yard. Then when you enter, you have your perfect patio stuff here. And then you enter into your foyer here. I don't know what that is. It has something to do with the wall. That's all I know. There is your bathroom area. And then you have your living room over here and the kitchen dining room area over here. So we're going to go over here first. So when you enter, you have your bookcase, a fireplace that is... A little uncenter, I should probably fix that. Another bookcase that's also off center. Kind of make sure nothing's missing because stuff when I out leave tends to go missing and I don't know why. You have your computer over here. Lavender's kind of peeking in a little bit. This is where you, your living room area. Over here, you have your activity area microphone, piano. Guitar, violin, painting, bonsai tree. <laughs> and then as you continue over. Actually, let's go to the bathroom first. Since it's also right here. It's in a weird shape, as you can see. But I really like how it looks. Did I not put a painting in here? I need to put a painting in here. I will do that. So here you have your kitchen. Has that always looked like... Oh, I guess so. Okay. But here is your kitchen. I always thought it was bigger. I'm not that short. So here you have your kitchen, shelving, all that fun stuff. I really made sure to decorate it to where it would look good. And I really like how it turned out you have some seating right here to be in the kitchen. Some Your microwave and coffee maker are over here. Then you go over here and you have plant in a box, paintings, your family table along with the toddler thing. You have your bar, lots of plants and stuff, bubble fountain. I thought that was a good little addition. Now, let's head upstairs. I did like an open concept right there so that I could put that light there. And up here you have your exercise spot, fish tank, another chess table, another painting table, another computer, and then this is for the children or toddlers. And each place of the house has a little balcony just to be out on. So here is the little blue toddler's room. They both look pretty similar, just different colored schemes, but they have everything you could need for a toddler room. These two rooms to share will kind of share a bathroom. So, I forgot. Oh no, there's a painting right there. Okay. But these two rooms right here kind of share it. Another balcony over there. This one's pink, but it's another toddler room all in pink. You can always change the color if you want it. Oh, God, what's happening? <laughs> I hate when this happens. But yeah, you can always change the color if you want. Ignore everything that's happening. Ignore everything that is happening. Over here, you have the teenager's room, which I actually really, 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 really like a lot. I love how it turned out. Got your vanity here, which I made sure was here. It's in the same color as everything else. I tried to make it match, and it did. Yeah, you have your little hobby thing here. I love this thing. This is like my favorite thing in the whole game. Too bad you can't actually put like little things there. Next is the master bedroom, which is pretty clean and sophisticated, and it's very blue. I really like how this looks. I didn't notice that's what the light looked like. Interesting. Yes, I use. There's another vanity here in white. I tried to get it to match as well as I possibly could. And there's going to be pictures at the end. They have a computer in the room, by the way, because, yeah. Okay, let's go out back now. <laughs> okay, so here on the back balcony is the door, which leads from the living room to the back porch. You got a glass wooden, uh, roof here. Here you have your back area. You have a drink tray, just decorations, more so in your grill, which is... I might have to move that back. 
another table and then you have your pool here which two heated spots and then you have a little diving thing and two tables over there and then when you come down here you got your tiny little garden in this corner which you need to be fixed then you got your little pathway that goes around I really don't think Sims are really gonna be walking through there that much because there's stairs over here too. You got your hot tub, bird feeder, more gardens, place for the kids to play, another garden. There were plant boxes there. I will fix that. And that was not there either. I gotta fix a lot of things before I upload this house. But yes, this house took me a few days and then things still disappeared. So I will fix that before uploading, and I also have pictures of before everything broke. So I will see you in the Um. I hate when that happens. I'll have to fix that too. Okay, well I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Well, I'll let you look at the roof a little bit more. I used the shift C command to do this because I really was liking how it looked other than that house is a different shape than this side of the house so it was harder for me to keep it symmetrical. Um, yeah, very hard to keep symmetrical. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I should be almost back on a normal schedule by now. Um, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Saturday might be a little bit iffy still because I still don't have any ideas for what I really want to do. So I will end up seeing you in the next video, probably Wednesday with my LP. There's only two parts left, so make sure you catch up. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!